Yo, what is going on, everyone in the crypto space? Today we are going to cover two pieces of information. One you're gonna like, one you're gonna not like. All right, let's get to it. Sorry, was a bit late on this Ripple news. This actually came out a day ago, but um, been a little, little busy lately, so today I'm gonna report on this news. If you are on Twitter and you do follow me, you've probably already seen this, but if not, here's some good news for you. All right, so that Japan Bank Consortium of over 61 banks, that actually accounts for 80% of all Japanese banks, which is fascinating to know. And they, uh, they're going to release an instant mobile payment app powered by Ripple through XCurrent. XRapid is possible for cross-border payments. So, the Japanese Bank Consortium will release an instant domestic payments mobile app, MoneyTap, using Ripple's technology in the fall of 2018, Ripple's blog reported yesterday. And here we got it. <clears throat> where it says three of the banks in the consortium SBI Net, Suming Shin Bank, Suruga Bank, and Rizona Bank will begin using this app this coming fall, not too far away. While the rest of the banks will join in gradually, MoneyTap will allow users to make purchases 24 hours a day, every day of the week. Now, if you did not know, it's a little different in the US and varies by country, but in, in Japan, they can only send payments from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. They got a very... That's, I mean, it's a decent sized window, but if you're getting to work off four, you can't send that payment. Or if you get to work at seven, you're not gonna be able to send that payment until you know you get out. So the fact, the big, the big focus here is, is that now people in Japan can actually um, make purchases and send payments domestically, 24 hours a day, every single day of the week, and it's a completely autom autonomous payment method. So it's gonna be instant through X Current. Now you guys might be saying, well, why wouldn't they use X Rapid? Here's the thing, they're wanting to launch it first with domestic payments. Now, let me inform you guys, X, XRP is pretty much useless for domestic payments because there's no reason to transfer uh, the Japanese yen into XRP back into the yen. So XRP in terms of domestic payments is useless, but Ripple has a great use case for domestic payments. Now, XRP comes in for cross-border payments. And part of this consortium, they're working with three major banks in Korea, uh, one of them being Uri Bank and Shinhan Bank, I believe. And now, when they launch their actual platform, that's when XRP would come into play, bridging the payment between Japan and Korea, meaning that they would take the yen, convert to XRP, then convert that uh, to the Korean won. So that's why they are not going to be using XRP for a domestic payments app. It's maybe it would go faster and maybe it would make it cheaper but it's essentially useless for xrp to uh do domestic payments or xrp really isn't needed it's kind of pointless but cross border is where it's really going to make the impact and that's where all the uh, dormant capital is sitting is in cross border payments so now there's going to be three banks launching first and the other banks will join gradually and the fact that it accounts for 80 percent of all japanese banks or uh, in terms of banking assets which is a large amount of japan so once these few banks come in, they say they love it, it's working great for their customers, that's where they one by one get every single bank into the MoneyTap app uh, within the Japan Bank Consortium. So that's honestly great news. They're finally making improvements on the technology. Um, so Santander is rolling out a um, mobile payment app powered by Ripple um, in Q1 of this year. And now we have the Japan Bank Consortium launching a Ripple powered app um, this fall. So. The actual production use, the actual commercial industry use of Ripple is now coming into play within the next couple months, which I think is great. XRP will come into play later. You, This is how their strategy works. You wheel them in with X current because they're going to be skeptical using a cryptocurrency. You wheel them in with X current, say, you know, it's really easy to add XRP, save another 30%. They do it. Boom, we get liquidity. XRP skyrockets in value. So that is great. Now, to give you guys the bad news, um, if you guys wanted to know... Uh, sort of a theory on why Bitcoin and the overall cryptocurrency market is crashing a lot. Um, now, obviously, this is a market cycle. Crashes are going to happen like this. But what may have contributed to this crash is the Mt. Gox trustee selling $400 million in Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. And uh, the trustee liquidated 35,800 Bitcoin and 34,000 Bitcoin Cash. And he even stated that he wanted to sell uh, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash as high a price as possible in light of the market price of Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin at the time of the sale. So him liquidating all this currency, it's no doubt in my mind that he may have triggered 
maybe even half or maybe even all of this Bitcoin at once so we can get the highest price possible for his liquidation. So, and the scary thing is, is that it does say he has more. This isn't all he has. As it stands, Kobayashi is in possession of over 160,000 Bitcoin worth $1.7 billion. So, Bitcoin not looking too good uh, because we have this large amount being held by one person. Again, people in the comments will say that Ripple all day on 60% XRP. Well, at least we know who owns the XRP and at least we know they can't liquidate it all at once. This guy can liquidate 160,000 Bitcoin at once. If he's smart, he's not going to do that. Most likely won't. But he's going to keep um, selling his load um, bits at a time. But the fact that he has over 160,000 Bitcoin, I don't see Bitcoin bullish anytime soon. Uh, he's just going to keep liquidating it as it keeps reaching higher levels, suppressing the price. Unless the market um, really takes a toll with volume and ramps it up for Bitcoin. But here's the thing, guys. This is why I'm so happy about XRP. We have a plan to decouple from Bitcoin, so this will be completely relevant to us. Um, the day we get on Coinbase, I believe it'll happen. Maybe not anytime soon, but sometime in the future it will because it's a coin in very high demand. When it does happen on Coinbase and more exchanges, uh, fiat, liquidity, we'll begin building. That's how we'll decouple from Bitcoin. And uh, these banks that are launching the payment apps, once they integrate XRP into cross-border payments, that news alone is going to set Ripple itself above Bitcoin and have its own market cycles uh, without following the coattails of Bitcoin. So really not great news if you're not into XRP because pretty much any other coin won't be decoupling from Bitcoin anytime soon because they pretty much rely on Bitcoin for liquidity. So, so the good news is uh, we got two Ripple uh, powered apps coming out in the next couple of months uh, live for commercial payments. But the downside, uh, this guy holds 166,000 Bitcoin, and I don't think he's going to want to hold on to that. He's probably going to liquidate it as fast as he can, uh, worth about $1.7 billion. So Bitcoin not looking so good, Ripple looking bright for the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow my Twitter at Teenage Buffett, or check the link in the description to go ahead and pick yourself a Ledger Nano S. They're actually back in stock. Keep that crypto safe. Don't start on Mount Gox. Don't make that, mis don't make that mistake of storing it on an exchange. Alright, well thank you guys for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one.